We are now on a new adventure, which will take us on Bayonetta. Oh, never mind that. Haven't st it's, it's the first time I start the game. On PC, that is. Mm, subtitles on. Voice language, English. User interface. default yeah graphics monitor one full screen graphic quality of course the, B the PC should handle it I'm going to keep these settings Time to advertise on Twitter for a moment. Now you're ready to begin. I think so at least. Uh, yeah. If anything, I should config on my way through the gameplay. New game. Um, oh, normal, normal then. We're going full normal. Oh yeah, I should probably test the audio, but I think the audio will be mostly fine. Maybe even a, a bit soft. Since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers of be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the night. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was tumbled. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witches' favor. Come <laughs> on. 
Their victory was short-lived. Fearing the witch's dark Damn. abilities, humans began to condemn the name of love. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. Yeah. <clears throat> Prologue. The vestibule. What, what, what's was the word correct? The best. What? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word, actually. <laughs> Not this one. How was it? Fuck. Wait. Just a second, please. the link <clears throat> okay I will save the game just to have the record but then we will start the quest Teen little angels. <coughs> Platinum, Platinum games. games. This game is awesome. I think it's one of the greatest games in that generation. like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. 
without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! They I hate this damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to Earth. Oh my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. you get out of here. You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you owe me. Do you naughty little angels deserve a good banking?
cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Don't worry about quality. I've got quantity. <laughs> 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 Shots from me to Bayonetta. Shall we begin? As long as there's music, I'll keep on dancing. Let's go. Tutorial. Halo, a very rare spiritual metal, metal containing the essence of angel's life force, used in business transactions within Inferno. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 
did that? I just bought the damn thing. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. Damn. <laughs> Just a gold medal. Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Ah! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before the shit hits the fan. Wait. Rodan, what about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! What an asshole. Oh, what a day! I'm screwed! Ah! It's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage! I tell you what... If I can see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. Uh, Pay attention. Uh, 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 how can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this, too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. Dressed like a nun, too! When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice, <laughs> too. <laughs> hey, 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the Divine for a living? That's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral, you get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha, come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear.
jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus! Can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Hey, too bad. I can't stand bugs. game I swear To Bayonetta. All that sleeping made you soft. <laughs> That's it. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. 
Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. Damn, Rodan. You got quite the collection. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. Scarborough Fair. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. <sighs> you did beat motherfucker. <laughs> The plug complete. I should have been a pole dancer. With a platinum award. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, if what you are waiting for, Angel. I basically do not remember how to play it. Ready? Fire! At least consistently, I mean. <laughs> can I aim with him out? I can aim with him out. Ooh. Nice. If I can aim with a mouse, that's much better. Hmm. I would say. Well, let's do just in case. Big Red. Chapter 1 The Angel Metropolis. Let's save the game. And let's go. Chapter 1. So, I asked around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, 
Here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone. But not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles, right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. They go. That was cringe. Oh. So, this is supposed to be paradise? Oh, I don't like the camera axis to be switched. Thank you. Wait, I just switch everything. No. That's not how it goes. There we go, much better. I'm going to destroy the unicorn horn cured by via crystallization. Unicorn horns is, an, is a concocting compound used by witches. Used by witches. It is useless by itself. <laughs> Mandragora root. Cured via crystallization, Mandragora roots is a concocting compound used by witches. It is useless by itself. <laughs> Purple butterfly. A butterfly-shaped gem that contains magical power in crystallized form. Revives one magical power when obtained. Baked Gecko. Cured within a crystallized block, Baked Gecko is a concocting compound used by witches. It is useless by itself. Ooh. Okay, so the idea is that if, uh, if we break all of the... <coughs> these things all of the benches you can get access to a gem that improves your health so we're going to do that because you force the train to leave Oh, 
halos. <coughs> nice. Must be one of Vigret's security forces. Four security guards in the middle of nowhere. They have some awfully impressive weapons. There it is, the, the peace gem. Broken moon pearl, a piece of a moon pearl. Gathering two of these will increase the limit of your magical power. Oh, it wasn't health, it was magic power. Well, we have one of those, so nice. Oh. Not all the bridges were working. A resident of Vigrid. It may be a part of the religious doctrine, but everyone is wearing holy vestments. As long as I am in Purgatorio, I won't be able to intervene in their affairs. But that also means that I should be able to get around this place without their interference as well, either. Detecting my weapons. The metal detectors. It is sealed shut. The security system activation has put the whole area on a state of alert. The sphere embedded in the wall is emitting a wondrous light and resonant sound. Getting closer to it makes it glow brighter, as if it has some sort of ability to respond to a witch's power built in. <laughs> An object wearing the seal of the sun. Upon the pedestal, there is an engraved headstone marking the marking the resting place of a witch. <laughs> Key. towards the truth. I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I've believed that communicating the truth is the core tenet of all journalism, chasing it, chasing it, uh, chasing it until my legs turn to rubber and the truth is burned into my retinas. But my journalist career has hit an incredible wall, and I must confess that I've been crushed under the weight of the path I've tr I have traveled. It all began upon seeing beyond the stone chiseled history of the old European, Euro European city of Vigrid, and past the dead scars time has left behind. The passing of history has always been overseen by a select few, and they have left memories of time stained with blood. This fact is integral in understanding the big picture, but it also causes one to hesitate before becoming involved in such dark history. Treading down this path, I believe so firmly, it means I cannot afford to lose faith in my convictions. It may also mean that my life is put into jeopardy. However, I hold deep, I hold deep within my heart the hope that I even after my soul has left this body, as long as these notes, my proof of being, a pass to the right man, future ages will also come to know the truth. They, they say that some things come at the cost of your life, but to me, truth is my life. In this age filled with lies and deceptions, 
I forever pray that truth will shine its light on the path of righteousness. Righteousness. Antonio Redgrave. It is a set of two crystal statues, but one is in pieces. It has been destroyed in an unnatural manner, as if, a, as if in a fit of rage powered by a deeply held grudge. Wicked we. That's just when you attack. <laughs> Lumen Sage and Umber Witch. When their part when their powers meet in a test of strength, the lightning release will be your test. If you wish to walk upon water, prove your mettle by dodging the lightning in a single pair's breath. Redless Redless. shaped gem that contains vital essence in crystallized form revives own vitality one's vitality instantly when obtained there's another one of those strange walls here the sphere in the wall seems to be calling out for magical powers <laughs> Up we go. <coughs> Everyone should. It's, it's like, what the fuck, oh, bro? <coughs> My apologies. Hello, Rodan. <clears throat> I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight. If you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. <coughs> your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> A 
It looks like a station gate. However, it is sealed shut. Maybe due to some sort of alarm system. The electronic sign above the door clashes with the old stone building it has been installed in. The building must be ancient ruins that were remodeled into a station. Not yet. A poster for some sort of event. The letters are similar to those used in magical seals. Alright. The rail guide for the only mode of transportation. The rail guide for the only mode of transportation in and out of Vigrid. Okay. Enter the gates of hell. You here for business or pleasure? Either way, I'll hook you up. Okay. Techniques. Air dodge, of course, like, no question. And coming soon. A burner kick? I don't know, maybe stiletto, but I don't have enough. We don't have enough money. And not weapons anymore. Okay, I think we're done. Maybe one of these ones? No, neither can I buy that. Can't buy that either. Well, we press on, but at least we get air dodge, which is going to make our life a lot easier. Crystal Wits and Sage. Within Vigrid City, there are a great many structures built long ago by two clans, the Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages. Among them, all have a sun and moon duality, evidence of a peculiar outlook toward the, univer the universe. The Witches representing the moon and the Sages representing the sun, burn into the fabric of the city in various ways. One of these structures, a pair of statues crafted from a high-quality crystal known as Belstelstone Crystallos, featured both witch, a witch and a sage. The statues appear to hold some sort of special significance. According to ancient records, they were created to aid in the training of the art of overseeing time, a skill only the two clans were capable of practicing. They also serve as the key to locking something away from public view should the clan feel the need for secrecy. However, the exact details of this art are unknown. Now the city, the city scarred by the tragic witch hunts of the past, have seen many of the statues depicting witches destroyed or heavily defaced. Even these beautiful crystal statues were unable to escape the calamitous fighting. There is a simple map posted. It appears the surrounding area is a historic neighborhood aimed at tourists. Umbran Tears of Lhasa. Broken Witch Heart. A piece of a witch heart. Gathering four of these will increase the limit of your vitality. Bullet. Arcade Bullet. Bullet used to play Angel Attack. One pack contains three bullets for use during the game.
Third Sphere, applaud. Second sphere, beloved. Platinum. Nice. Trosmot Milites, a golden LP featuring the crystallized voice, the crystallized voices of angels. Some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. The area ahead is blocked off. It appears to be a, an effort to protect the deteriorated group. Deteriorated ruins. Oh, the crow. The crow is behind me. What are you doing? Let's go.
Well, bye. <clears throat> this was the road only the chosen could travel during a religious pilgrimage to the temple. Before it was closed for preservation, it was once open to tourists. A witch's brew. I've discovered the existence of something called alchemy. It is the, dis the disconstruction, combination and reconstruction of everything. Metal, flesh, even spirit. If one understands the logic of the age, alchemy is a prime example of the area of the era in which it was developed. Although lesser known is the fact that alchemy is an offshoot of the witch's secret art of concoction. Concoction was only practiced by the Umbrian witch clan, and the materials, amounts, and methods used were never shared outside of the clans in a circle. However, in the chaos of the witch hunts, some details were said to have slipped out, including knowledge of the primary mixing compounds, baked egg, gecko, unicorn horn, and mandragora root. Also hidden was their role in controlling the fence of fence and vitality. It has been discovered that the correct combination of these items... Sorry. It has been discovered that correctly combining these items may result in the creation of various useful compounds. These materials are obviously no longer in... In what? <coughs> Wait. In what? Oh, the controller is acting up. Come on. There we go. Uh, no longer... These materials are obviously no longer in existence, and even if they still existed outside of being a member of the Witch Clan, one would have to take out a contract with a dweller of the Netherworld to obtain these rare items. In case of emergency, the witches place these materials within Purgatorio, a realm caught in between the trinity of realities, in which the items are said to still remain. When creating a concoction, the correct procedures, amounts and combinations are absolutely essential, and the art is not for the inexperienced. And the art are not is not for the inexperienced. <coughs> well, well, an angelic hymn's gold LP. Got your hands on something awfully rare, haven't you? That thing is the perfect bait to coax out some of Hell's uglies. One note hits their ears, and a damn who's who of Inferno comes pouring out of the inner circles. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best. Weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, the penguins in you the back. give me that record, and I'll order up something so fiendish, angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop down to the tropics for a bit. So take a load off. the onyx roses now shotguns containing the soul of fairies known to collect the onyx roses that bloom only in inferno each shell fired from the guns contains the curse of the fairy strapped souls an escarborough fair yeah, crafted by the famed demon smith rodan 
These four guns have been crowned with the names Parsley, Sage, Rosemary and Thyme. Pushing Bayonetta's magic to its limit, this gun's rate of fire and stopping power are incredible. And to take those in my legs. Why not? Shotguns in the legs. Got that done. Nice. Chapter one: The Dangerous Recovery is complete. Oh, I forgot about the the side quest. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just doing trying to do a casual run. Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel attack! Ready? Fire! That just in case. Chapter two, the grid, city of the Javel.
Come on. Fancy bumping into you here. Out to find some answers about your past, are we? You've quite the familiar face, and using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> same powers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. You've already disappointed me. is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny and wasted the past 20 years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers, the eyes of the world. They are the power behind everything. John, as heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight under the Umbran name. You may select opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Then none! Helen Kiadagat! The child is of impure blood. Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith. It would not be the first time we faced each other. Kjard! Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. Little, fine by me. Ooh. Now we can walk through walls. Not through. We can walk on walls. Sean. There we go.
That went well. can only walk on walls while the moon is on. Many ancient stone structures have been preserved, being developed further as they are repaired, leading the town a peculiar sense, lending the town a peculiar sense of the historic, modern, of the historic. That sentence sounds a bit weird. Modern architecture has also taken hold in Vigrid, starting with the central station. However, it is all to give form to the sacred institutions of the ancient sages. The architecture gives us a glimpse into the people's deep sense of respect for their past. This town of old and new, this, this town of old and new, still keeps within its bounds several strange things that the modern man struggles to make head or tails, head or tails of. For instance, dark and green barriers made of an as yet unknown metal seem to block certain alleyways. Their shape compromised of many com comprised of many complex bricks, impedes one from proceeding down the ancient paths of the city. Sorry for that. Let me read that again. Their shape, comprised of many complex, complex bricks, impedes one from proceeding down the ancient paths of the city, as though they were as a rejected visitor, even though it seems these paths saw everyday use in the distant past. I may claim this material as, a yet, as yet unknown, but in reality I haven't a clue regarding its composition. It is harder and heavier than anything a human being is capable of moving, or so I have surmised from examining its chilly surface. Pus pushing one's ear against the wall, the sound of the other side reverberates and echo within, resounding through the inner works and workings of the wall, as if a Glockenspiel was playing scales. I have never seen a metal like this, but many of the walls within the city are made from this material, and from the cliffs one can see an enormous monument constructed from the same mysterious matter. I wonder why these lost witches and sages scatter these walls around the city. Oh, good morning, Chesa. Chesha. You made, it you made it just in time to see an interesting cutscene. How was your morning? Oh, alright. Even a short examination of this wall shows there isn't a way through it. Perhaps if I were able to, un if I were to unleash some temporal witch power on it. My situation would suddenly improve. Okay. So good, coffee was just right, morning work was just right, and now I can buy while you play Bayonetta. Well then, welcome to the stream! Glad to have you around here. Um, so good that the morning has been good thus far. So this is a fun thing. Well, we are here in Purgatorio, so that's why we see people with a translucent, transparent look. But you know... Cats usually see things that we cannot, or, you know, that thing when, when cats stare at a certain place with, what's going on? But that's why cats 
seem like a normal cat since they are in between realms too. It's a, it's a nice touch. Another bullet. Okay. And another text. No oh, heart. I would need that heart. Broken witch heart. Notes on the topic of magic one. The word the word witch usually conjures up image in our head of an old woman using strange magics. But peruse this histori the history of Vigrid and you find a vastly different picture of an incredibly brave woman who once inhabited the area. They were known as the Umbra Witches. While these witches are said to have manipulated magic, there remains very little records, recorded history to back these claims. Yet they shared many powers with their opposing counterparts, Lumen Sages, and from their records we can gather a better view of what magic entailed. As overseers of history, they possessed the ability to literally see everything in an instant, also known as temporal control. These techniques sharpened all of the five senses and pushed one's emotional energy to its very limits. It is a world where a falling drop of water can become a crown and a hummingbird slowly and enangling and elegantly flap its wings. Temporal control, it is is not just simply being able to recognize this world this world. It also enables one to boost their physical abilities and move freely within that single moment. Temporal control requires a sound body and mind and complete grasp of spirit energy. While quite similar while quite similar, the witches and the sages each practice this art differently leading to different names for their respective techniques, witch time and light speed. Witch time, witch time, it seems that the witches on this earth fell victim to our world's passage of time and vanished into the abyss of eternity. Well, hello, Crypto, welcome to the stream. Just reading the files. They've installed a classic telephone so as not to disrupt the ambience of the area. Of the area. Not to worry, we will find some amusement soon. Just checking. There's people running, running away from me. There we go. believe in fate fate brought us here together and it will never tear us apart fucking Luca Sayonara. Fleur de cire eau de parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. 
Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonetta! Shit! Will you stop that? That little bug on Enzo was a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. <sighs> You've certainly few, haven't you, my little Cheshire puss? I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. A name you'd better remember. Ah! <laughs> Shit! Damn it! Wait! You can't just run away from me like that! I know what I saw that day! about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales. Captains. But I know they're real. I know the truth. This smell. The same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. <laughs> There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary's a demon repellent. run away so fast because you've got something to run from me but you can't escape me forever
gold medal. She can turn into a butterfly. Actually, what's going on? It's that it's because of her of her pact with and um, with Madama Butterfly, which is her main contract. A demon taking the form of a woman who left this world under unfortunate circumstances, only to be reincarnated in hell. Unlike her beautiful, swallow-tailed, butterfly-like appearance, this demon is particularly brutal, and her reputation is well known about even amongst the denizens of Inferno. If a conjurer were to sign a contract and trade her soul, the demon would impart upon her enormous power and great wisdom. And you can actually see in the shadow that she has Madame Butterfly. And of course, the butterfly in a double jump belongs to Madame Butterfly. But yeah, basically, she has enormous strength. Time to carry on. Yeah. The battles the battle system is so nice. It's just so fluid to play this game. Okay, let's go to Alfheim and try to do uh, some side content so we can get bonus items. You can only use it before time expires using the limited number of punches and kicks. <laughs> Impossible. What the hell, dude? What the fuck? I suppose you need to do it with... With which time? But what the fuck, bro? Just with six punches and... Seven, six kicks and seven punches. Uh, yeah, good thing <laughs> if you miss. Oh no, yeah, you need to use this thing. Yeah, I, I get it now. Yeah, I get it now. Thank you. I get what we need to do now. Uh, I don't know if I should... I should probably use Cowboy of Fair for this one. Okay. I got you. Do it again, please. <laughs> yeah, that's the way, but. Away, but I didn't. I run out of time. 
That's the proper way to do it, yes. Should probably be a mix up with kicks, because if not, the kick will make me drop to the ball. Come on! Oh, I still dropped to the ground, so... Can I do it again? We got it. We got it, boys. Just a little more, just a little more. We should probably aim towards the crystal at all times. Come on. either a silver medal yeah took too much time and moon pearl okay we got it some of the some of the challenge can be a bit silly to do so some are more harder than others the building was destroyed by its collision with the street car Everything is covered by rubble as far as the eye can see. This path seems to have been made impossible. Alright. Time to move on. There's another tomb there. Oh, and a book. Come on. Note on the topic of magic too. In their rigorous pursuit that the magical arts that arm um, the magical arts, one method is said to have caused countless death during training. Witch walk. To the Umbra witches it seems witch walk was truly indispensable. Taking the powers from the moon, this band of witches were able to draw on the powers and witching qualities of the moonlight to execute high-level techniques. However, records state that Witchwalk was powered by a pack with a particularly powerful demon who would grant the power to break gravity's bonds, and not by the more common moonlight source. As, not, as no further records remains as to the nature of this technique, any more hard facts remain unknown. However, by looking at the traces left on the buildings around Vigrid, one can make some further some assumptions. The traces are in fact footprints left on the surface of the wall. They blend into the city so well that you almost never catch a glimpse of them in first glance. 
In fact, those without knowledge of which walk would probably never notice the footprint's presence. Among the dirt and scars on, on the surface, there are many buildings in Vigrid where footprints sporadically continue along the sides. This must be none other than proof that these magic practitioners were able to literally walk on walls. Many of these buildings where the, where the witches have left their marks are truly strange. There are doors in unbelievably, in unbelievably high locations, or the buildings may lack a path to its entrance entirely, rejecting all intruders and living a life of solitude. Which walk was not just a training technique for the Umbra witches, it was a shield that protected their way of life. was kind of clean I think I got I think I got hurt in one of the steps. yes gold medal uh, not enough combo really I thought I well if you say it Quasi una fantasia a golden LP featuring the crystallized voices of angels some sort of silhouette is blown up on the surface <laughs> the Umbra Witches 1. Witches were one of ones of talent. That is my impression after years of exhaustive research into the Umbra. The word witches triggers within all of us us all prejudices towards the paranormal or the supernatural. However, this ancient city of Vigrid, the magical in this ancient city of Vigrid, the magical arts were a systematic form of scholarship. Of course what I've learned about of course, what I have learned about witches will be labelled as fraud by the world as l at large, or undoubtedly dismissed as nonsense. I will begin these notes with items I have confirmed to be absolute facts in regards witches. Due to their lack of contact with the outside world, we often feel that witches were a strictly hereditary order. However, however this was not always the case. For one to become a witch, one must one must first and foremost possess incredible spirit energy. Those with the power could become witches despite being of low birth, and those without power would be forced into sec secular life, regardless of any blood ties to a witch clan. 
Naturally, children born within a clan were often quick to grasp the concept of magic due to the environment around them, allowing them to innate their innate abilities to bloom at a much earlier age. Coming to grips with this concept must have inspired one to further hone their spirit energy. These children were also able to participate in extensive drills with other witches, and only those who had shown great promise and achievement were able to take their witch vows prior to passage into womanhood. The exact nature of spirit energy remains unclear, although rec recognizing it, its existence within oneself and refining this talent further was the one true path to produce a witch of great ability. Okay, Gates of Hell. Hello, Rodan. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. to pound into shape but the workmanship solid now go put this thing to good use should have I, I think I do have some cash but I will wait until the, the end of the stage okay should have a living katana pulsing with the heart of Asura the demon god of war Always seeking blood, the blade will even suck the very souls out of its victims. Nope, I don't want that there. I want that there. With the shotgun, why not? Who's there? Hide and seek, my scurrying little friend. Just a child? What are you doing running around Vigrid? You're certainly not dressed in your Sunday best.
take. Yeah, that wasn't really good at all. <laughs> oh, chapter two complete. Yeah, give me a platinum. Oh, a gold. Okay. Bam. Not so bad. Thought I was going to get a silver. I'm doing this with the mouse. Used to mine. Oh, I have 40k. Chapter 3 The Burning Ground. No matter how much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. So, what do you want? Maybe he'll slide and break dance. No, it's not after burner. After burner, yeah. Give me that after burner. Skip. Save. Save the game. The burning ground. This stage is fucking bullshit. <laughs> If I was your child, I'd be an awfully ugly witch, wouldn't I? Yours is a face only a mother could love. And one I could never forget. Sick burn. No quarrel. You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal partners love my ability to eliminate your kind. I figure your sacrifice would shut them up for a while.
it's just amazing how uh, supposedly Big Red is a city close to Paradiso, so maybe they ought to protect the place, but they say, nope, fuck it. We don't fucking care about these guys. Fucking kill them if you have to. I don't care. Yeah, Bayonetta is a so badass character, actually. It's a shame that, you know, the first impression you get from her is that she basically gets nude in front of the camera and all that. But when you play the game and enjoy the story, you get to love the character because you see her in different situations and how she reacts. It's much a deeper character than what apparently she looks at the first glance. Lava. damage <laughs>
kind of just one part of an LP. Okay, platinum and metal. I can. Fantasy impromptu. Impromptu. There we go, walking on walls. About the Umbra Witches too. Umbra Witches, controller of the dark power. The way the ways of the disciples were actually quite varied. Breathing, movement, medicines, and tactics were joined in the Middle Ages by training in the operation of heavy weapons, culminating in the curriculum of whose total breadth breadth what total breadth and intensity are hard to ascertain. This training forged both the body and the soul, honing each which into a vessel, honing each witch into a vessel capable of withstanding the rigors of the magical arts, and allowing one to begin to interact with other dwellers of the magical realm. This interaction with the world of spirits lies at the very core of, of magic. To put these dwellers of the magical realm into layman's term, they most closely fit the common conception of demons, developing demon-like powers. It seems this was one of the reasons these women were burdened with the sad face, always living in history's shadow. I have been able to gain no further solid information regarding the magical arts, as the witch clan has long since been annihilated and the memory forgotten. The residents of this town detest them with all of their hearts. To allude to, the ex to their existence is, yet qu is quite a taboo. Yet the key to unlocking the witch mysteries remains. The witch, the witches' mysteries remain still remain. In Vigrid, the man held up by many to be paragon of the faith continues to seek out any remaining witches. 
other witches once thought to be wiped out from the earth still among us? If they are among us, if they are, how have they survived this long? What do they know? What do they now know? And where, where on earth could they be hiding? Finally, I have obtained scraps of, uh, scraps of a document that appears to lay out to lay out another elementary principle of the magical arts. I am unable to decipher the writings on the document, but it seems to describe a martial arts, a martial arts technique known as dodge offset. I pray it will be of use to someone, so I have to include it within these notes. Not my best reading, I can assure you. Reading, reading, reading out loud is kind of hard. <laughs> I have it more or less dominated now in Spanish, but English is different. Walk on. Wait, I got a silver in combo? Angels! Pearl now. The two of them actually. from the topic of magic 3. The magical arts of the Umbra, their true significance is best understood in the context of how the Umbra were able to use this magic, via direct contact with demons in Inferno. It is though that these witches underwent strict training in order to master the various techniques. However, the truth is colored by the fact that these witches, that the witches left people awestruck and were greatly revered. The true root of their power was none other than their ability to take unbelievably strong demon energy and bend it to their will, using it freely. The witches' direct contact saw them reaching into the dark, into the heart of Inferno's darkness and summoning the beasts that dwell there, drawing out their incredible magic and destructive powers. The witches un under contract with these demons were able to exercise power far beyond any that could be obtained by mere mortals. To the extent that some may even term these powers as aggressive or brutal. 
It was thanks to these powers that the witches boasted such awesome force in battle. From the Virgridian, Virgrid, Virgridian religious perspective, those living in the human world find their interaction with other realms to be incredibly difficult. Residents of Inferno also find it impossible to manifest themselves in the human world. This is why witches require certain sort of catalyst to summon demons into the human world, channeling the spirit via this medium. The catalyst most often used by witches was their hair. It is well accepted that, that hair had many uses in the magical arts, and the witches call this use of their own hair the wicked weed. It was said to have been used not just to summon demons, but also to summon magical items as well as forming the witches' uniforms. I would also like to touch briefly on the despair these women must have felt. To gain the incredible power afforded to them, they were forced to trade their souls to the demons of Inferno. Within the Trinity of Realities, it is believed that the deceased find their souls sent to heaven in an endless cycle of birth, death and rebirth. However, witches were met with only a single possible fate, death, followed by endless torment in Inferno. Once one had set foot upon the path of, on the, of the magical arts, there lay nothing but the harsh reality that there is nothing, there is no turning back. Despite the fact it was a path decided by a never-ending stream of believers. How these women captured so many hearts, minds and imaginations remains unknown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't want to fall. I almost fell in that bridge, yes. Light is floating out. There seems to be a completely different environment on the other side. Okay. First, well, first we see the cutscene apparently. But first of all, I need to pick up the other part of the LP. Which it should be around. Well, that's a portal to to Alfheim, so maybe we should take that. Okay, what's the challenge here? Switch all the angels before the time expires. However, switch time has been the same. I can do that. Get 
Not my best attempt, but first try nonetheless. Can you give, can you give me a pawn, please? Yes, I will accept the silver, I don't mind. Okay, but still, there should be uh, the other part of the LP should be here, but I don't remember where. There it is. Now we have the complete LP. All the pieces fit together to form an, an angelic hymns gold LP. Some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. heart. A witch's vitality in crystallized form. Obtaining this item will increase the limit of your vitality. Thank you very much. No, do not. can climb these walls with our main powers. Another one. Nice. And one more book. The Old Coliseum. 
in Vigrid's long protracted history, there once there was once an enormous Colosseum built facing the sea. It remains today large, largely intact. According to record, the Colosseum was used not for martial contests or, or other games, but as an altar for the worship of one of the Eris gods, a being known as Fortitudo. Even today, as the urban function of the city moves to Isla del Sol, the Colosseum holds a special place in the religious belief of those who worship the Laguna. Even though the winds of time have long since destroyed the road leading to the structure, forcing a treacherous passage through throughout the cliff, through, through the cliffs, the stream of those making a pilgrimage is to, to the Colosseum is endless. Yeah. The sudden stop of music is almost as scary as the sudden stop of music. Yeah. Because we come out of a uh, of a really oppressing kind of music, like you need to run for your life, and then Gregorian chants. The music is so soft, so though I mean, a, a bit unnerving, yes, but soft nonetheless. This stage, though. So. Like another one of the rare ones? No. Come on. Round over. Yeah, I'm going to take this because boss fight is incoming. Chapter 4, maybe? Chapter 4, The Cardinal Virtue of Fortitude. How much cash do I have? 30k. What can I buy with 30k? An oh. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity, pity me. me. I, I was, was bored, bored anyways. anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. This song is so beautiful, actually. The piano song that's playing, Fantasia Impromptu. It was a close one this time. This bad boy might even be hard for you to get a handle on. Take care of yourself. Kushaldra. Actually, at the moment, we don't need too many of this ability, so may I buy health improvement, please? Thank you very much. And now we save. And now we fight fortitude. Don't 
You again? And here I thought I'd seen the last of you. I'm sure you'll be more than hospitable to me this time around. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention one of the reasons I hunt your kind. You're much too ugly not to put out of your misery. <laughs> Yeah, the lollipop, it's hand size. So you can basically grab it with the hand, with the entire hand. Come on! when the demons fucking grab it like hungering beast and drag that part all the way down to hell it's so amazing it's so creepy but it's so awesome it's like yeah we're taking this with us boy fuck you
Rip your own head off. Goodbye to the Coliseum. No! Foul language. Oh yeah. Because you said bitch, the bot was like, no! Refer from using foul language. Um tell me Bayonetta is a bad bitch without saying it. Um He constantly raises her eyebrow and has no time for your shit. That was so loud. The volume a bit, maybe. You know, you're not nearly so ugly when you're screaming. Yeah. You can see, you can know that she's a bad bitch when she says that. Foretold. Explain yourself.
We've been meaning to reach you about your extended warranty. Fair enough. <laughs> Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel attack! Ready? Fire! No, no, no. No, too late. No. Nope. Round? Uh, they were so far away. Um, I think I do not have enough points. Forty points. No. Well, okay. I'll buy that. But I think it's now time to leave it here. We've made it all the way to the f to the first boss and managed to kill the first boss. You bring me enough of these halos, and maybe I can buy a ticket to space. Always wanted to be a bald space marine. <laughs> what can I do for you, anyways? <laughs> Yep. Nice. Perfect. So, after finishing the chapter four, we're going to chapter five, the Lost Holy Ground. But that will be tomorrow, probably. Yes, I thought I was going to end the stream. Uh, be uh, you know, before the the boss, the first boss. But I said, well, it's just a boss battle, so it shouldn't take that long. And I think it would be a nice way to finish it. And you know, when exporting to YouTube, it will be like a nice pack of four chapters, I think. So I think it's it's a good moment to leave it here. So as always. Thank you all for coming. Thanks, Cheshire, for participating in the chat. To everyone that has stopped by the stream, thank you so very much. And I will see you in the, in the next chapter of Bayonetta. Catch you later, guys. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>